Hello, my name is Marissa, and today I'll be talking to you about how television is such a great tool for communication. Um, but first, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I'm 19, and I attend Yavapai Community College. I still haven't decided on a major. I'm leaning towards more um, kindergarten teacher education, early childhood education. Uh, but I keep changing my mind, so I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet. Um, again, the topic I'll be discussing about is how television is a great tool for communication. Um, one way that television is a tool for communication is it's a one it's one way people can learn about what's going on in the world, current events, and it's also a form of entertainment. And it is another reason is that it's also a great tool for learning if watching for learning if watching the right programs. Uh, also we'll talk about how the internet is starting to try to take over the television. Uh, the technology has changed a lot over the years. Television is losing some of the power with the internet trying to take over the, uh, the learning and the information aspects that television also has. One of the biggest reasons television is such a good tool for communication is because it's a form of learning about the world. People can get caught up on the current events going on all over the world um, and learn about the local news in their area. More than three quarters of all Americans consider the television and newspapers their most important sources of news. So they believe it's more accurate and reliable source for them for the news, it's more reliable and accurate. It, the television can also communicate with a huge amount of people at once all over the world. If something needs to be told fast and quick, the television is a great tool to communicate that to so many people fast and efficient. Another reason television is such a huge medium for communication is it's how it's a great tool for learning. People can watch specific programs and learn things about the past and present. There's all, lots of learning channels, the History Channel, the Discovery Channel. All, all of those channels have specific programs that can teach people about things that they're interested in or just to randomly learn something that they didn't know about before. Uh, on children's shows like on Disney Channel and Nickelodeon, teach kids about how to have manners and to respect people and they can teach them and get them ready to start school teaching them the alphabet and numbers getting ready for math and counting for beginning school uh, a lot of shows also have just all the regular programming shows like on NBC ABC and all those regular channels have TV shows that have certain lessons shown throughout episodes and a huge show that's impacted people's lives huge in a great way is Glee. Glee is about the underdogs. It's a show that you that if you work that shows if you work hard enough your dreams can come true and it breaks so many different stereotypes that are out there that people believe in and it breaks those and shows them that they're not true. Uh, and Glee accurately illustrates the role of television media as in shaping behavior, meaning, and identity within the audience. In addition to highlighting the strong impact on televisions, on tel the, that the television has on today's society. It's showing how Glee is not afraid to show the social issues that are out there in the world today. It's not afraid to show people that, are, that they are out there and that they're, some of them are okay and that it is okay. It, it's a huge show that shows you that it's okay to accept yourself for who you are and that there are people that are different and it's okay to accept them for being different. That everybody should accept everybody for who they are. And it's a huge impact on television has today on society because it's the TV is showing these, being able to show these different issues and highlighting them, and it's not afraid to show them on the television. And it's they're communicating it through the television, and it's a huge way to communicate it through to other people, to make them listen about it. 
and with the television's competitor, the internet, people can watch missed TV shows on the internet now. People are ignoring broadcast schedules and viewing programs via internet. They don't care that they're on TV. They're totally ignoring that they're on TV and they're just going to find them on the internet now. And people are getting their information and news on the internet, but it's not always a reliable source like it can be on the TV or in a newspaper. You have to make sure that it's a reliable source and that it's very accurate and that you can trust that. Um, but despite these changes, people are still watching television. The ratings have not dropped as much as they thought it would with the internet becoming so popular. And in conclusion, uh, from begin being a form of entertainment, our learning that, that our learning the television has broken down so many barriers that separated people from everyone else. It brings people to it can bring people together as a form of entertainment, as a form of learning. They're a huge group of people that learn together and get information for everything in life. And no matter how far the technology goes in the future, the television will always be one of the best communication tools the world has today. The internet will not always be there for accurate information. The television will always be a huge communication tool for people to use. Thank you for watching.